Hi, I'm Ketki Shevde. I'm a program manager from the OneDrive and SharePoint team. In this video, I will give you an overview of what's new in the OneDrive developer platform and follow it up with a full demo. Finally, I will point you to some additional resources. OneDrive provides one set of experiences for all your data at home and at work. The OneDrive developer platform is aligned with that vision. This means one common set of developer resources and APIs to access business and personal files across Office 365. With Office 2016 and Windows 10, OneDrive is a central part of the Office productivity story. We want OneDrive to be the platform that enables developers to do more and achieve more with files. The OneDrive developer platform enables great scenarios on devices across iOS, Android, web, and Windows. Today, we are happy to announce general availability of the OneDrive API to access OneDrive for Business files and a set of new features and resources available to OneDrive developers. The new OneDrive API should now be the primary API for accessing files across Office 365, OneDrive, and SharePoint. In other words, the OneDrive API is the next generation of what was previously called the Files API in Office 365 and SharePoint and the next generation of the Live Connect API, which was used for OneDrive consumer. In addition to the general availability of OneDrive APIs, we also have a set of new features, resources, and tools that are now available to our developer community. Some of the newly released features include support for thumbnails, search, large file upload, sync changes, and permissions. We have also released new SDKs for iOS, Android, .NET, and Universal Windows apps, and Python. In addition, you can use Picker SDKs for Android, iOS, and JavaScript to enable your app to open and save files on OneDrive with hardly any code. To showcase how easy it is to use the OneDrive API, we have decided to build an iOS app that lets you take pictures and upload them directly to your OneDrive. The same app could easily be built on any platform using our SDKs. The app is called CloudRoll. CloudRoll is a good example of an app that integrates with both OneDrive and OneDrive for Business to enable productivity for consumers and business users alike. The app allows users to take a picture of a whiteboard of business critical drawings or ideas by saving the image directly to the cloud without saving the file on your phone. Now let's see the app in action. Here's my iPhone. I switch to my cloud roll application. I take a picture and say, upload to OneDrive for consumer. It gets a Microsoft account, names the file by the timestamp, appends a .jpeg, and uploads to OneDrive. If I go into my OneDrive for Consumer, I see that the picture got uploaded. Similarly, if I go back into my CloudRoll application and this time say, I take a picture of some important business document and upload to OneDrive. It creates a picture, appends a .jpg extension, and uploads to OneDrive for business. This time, I go into my business folder and if I look inside, I can see that the picture got uploaded here. So this app, depending on which button I pressed, uploaded a picture to OneDrive, Consumer, or OneDrive for Business using the same code. This sample is posted on GitHub, so you can take a look at that code. Now let's take a look at the code powering this app and interacting with OneDrive. The item request builder is being set to either the drive slash app root in OneDrive Consumer or a particularly named folder in OneDrive for Business. After this, a single upload method, item request builder, item by path, file path, content request, upload from data, image data, completion, and the parameters is uploading to OneDrive. Notice how simple it is. The upload call is the same with some differences on where we choose to upload the picture. The API calls that underlie this code are also all the same across business and consumer. You can see how the SDK mirrors the pattern of the REST API as well. OneDrive API is the core investment area for files extensibility in Office. 
We are hard at work at new developer tools for you, regardless of your developer platform. So expect new SDKs in the coming months. We are also focusing on making sure we have support for the same file scenarios across OneDrive consumer and OneDrive for business accounts. dev.onedrive.com will be the key destination for your developer tools. You can also find us on GitHub. In addition to accessing files via our direct OneDrive API endpoints, you can also use the consolidated API endpoint via graph.microsoft.com, which even further simplifies how you can access OneDrive for business and OneDrive consumer files. Also, please be sure to sign up for our developer program at dev.office.com slash dev program to receive the latest and greatest updates on the OneDrive and Office developer platforms. Thanks for watching and happy building.